little bit of fear <laughs> and a lot of looks. There's a lot of looking at you like that. I'm the big dog, nigga. That's what you don't get. Ain't no taking it back. Just tell me, tell me where the he is. It's not even like it's that. It's exactly like that. I'm scary too much. Nick Day gone for good. Maybe you thinking you next? You scared, Rock? What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love power, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, like the video, and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now today, we're gonna be talking about Power Book 3, Raising Kanan, season three. And we're gonna be talking about your boy, Ronnie. He's the big dog now. But what's next for his character in the second half of the show? I want you guys to leave your predictions down below. We got to talk about Ronnie because we know he's basically been taken over season three. And after episode five, the encounter that he had with his brother, it got everybody talking. Now he's the big dog by taking down Unique and he feels like nothing can stop him. But will he slip up? Is his eagerness to get back at Rock too much? Will somebody close to him take him out? Well, I guess that depends on who gets close. Is it a possibility that Kanan can get close or... Will Ronnie just screw everything up with Juliana? Because we already know they are gonna be doing business together. So we're definitely gonna talk about all those things in this video. Now you guys, make sure you check out my last few videos. I dropped a video about your boy Unique. And of course he stated that he's gone. Joey Badass, he's talked about this in an interview with People Magazine. We talked about the details in the video that I dropped yesterday. You guys check it out. Y'all can debate on what he said. And if you think he is really gone or is this all promotion for the show? And also check out that episode six, what to expect video as well. Remember, they will be going on a break and the next episode is not gonna air until January 12th. So you already know that's a little bit of time. I will be dropping content for you guys. I believe we are gonna get through it. But let's talk about the topic of discussion. Ronnie, he's the big dog now, as he told his brother and he took him out in the last episode. We know this season started out with Ronnie getting out and ever since he's been released, everybody's been talking about his character each and every week. It's like this dude turns up more and more and more, right? Now, we know Ronnie got released at the beginning of the season because of what? A dirty cop. But I'm going to tell you right now, I don't believe Ronnie. Whatever they said he did, as your boy 50 Cent said, a.k.a. Cannon, he did that shit. I don't believe it. Especially based off what we've been seeing from Ronnie thus far this season. He definitely did what they say he did. Ain't no way that cop or whoever was lying, Ronnie is guilty as charged. But he got lucky and he's out and we already know what he's been doing. I mean, he was pissed off at Unique because he felt like he left Unique everything. And when Ronnie got released, he was pissed off like, man, you lost everything and you lost it to Rock. And you kicking it with her, clapping her cheeks, having a good old time. He ain't going for that. So, of course, his mentality is like, screw all of that. And he doesn't really have a lot of patience for anything at all because he felt like, you know, he had it all at first and now it's gone. And we know what he did to Dean. He took him out. And then, of course, he had the showdown with his brother. He takes him out and everybody wants to know what's next for his character. Well, we already know Ronnie was setting up shop with Juliana. She pretty much told him the only way they going to work together is if Unique is out of the picture. Well, we know the next episode, Ronnie will be going to Juliana once again, letting her know that Unique is no longer a problem. He's up out of here. So we can expect to see them two workers together. My question is, how is that all going to play out? I mean, let's just be honest. I mean, Ronnie, he needs some soldiers or something because I cannot see this dude out on the block trying to sell drugs. I mean, just think of that. Visualize that in your head right now. Crazy ass Ronnie on the block trying to sell drugs. I mean, he doesn't like people saying no to him at all. So he going to be out there forcing people to buy drugs from him. And if you say no, we already know what time it is. I mean, this dude is going to be the bully drug dealer. That's your boy, Ronnie, a.k.a. the hood Michael Myers. But to be honest with you guys, we know Ronnie 
most likely will be doing business with Kanan. He approached Kanan last episode and believing that Kanan was working with Unique and he was wrong. So I believe you're going to see that connection very soon. We know Snaps and Pop Henry, they're going to be involved as well in this picture. And it is a high possibility that Kanan will be close to Ronnie. I already told you guys that once Rock finds out about this whole Ronnie thing and Kanan getting close to him, she's going to be very, very upset on top of the fact knowing that this man took out Unique. Once she finds out about that, she's going to be very, very nervous, right? We saw the episode six trailer and you can tell Rock has that fear look on her face. You know she knows what time it is. As she told Unique, somebody got to pay for all the stuff that he is breaking. Well, we saw what happened to Unique. That boy in the dirt, it ain't looking too good. And I believe his eagerness to get back at Rock just may be his weakness. Because yes, he takes out Unique or whatever, but he blames all of this on Rock. And that's going to be a problem because y'all know Rock ain't going for that. She ain't going. And I believe Kanan, he's not going to go as well. I mean, you think he's going to allow this dude to take out his mom's? Like, I don't see that happening. I see it being issues down the line. And we don't even know if Ronnie is going to be all good with Juliana and her cousin Joaquin. Y'all know Joaquin, he didn't want no parts of Ronnie at all. He's like, look, I'm good. But of course, Juliana doesn't give a damn. As long as she's getting payback on Rock in any way, shape, or form, that's what she's going to do. And I think that's going to be her downfall as well. Them both trying to get back at Rock is going to equal bad results. That's just me. Now, y'all can leave y'all predictions down below and let me know exactly what y'all think is going to happen with Ronnie's character. We know he is trying to take over. They've been building him up since the very beginning of the season. I told you, we heard about him back in season one. He was supposed to be locked up for the rest of his life, but apparently he got out and now he is raising hell each and every week. And I mean, it's just bad for business. Let's just be honest. This man did not suffer any consequences for taking out Dean. And you know, they built Dean up at the beginning of the series as a top dog. And Ronnie takes him out just like that. And then, of course, we know what he did to Unique. He got to pay. He got to pay for his actions. I told you guys, a guy like this that continues to take people out left and right, you know, without giving a damn about what he does, usually does not last. And I'm going to tell you right now, a lot of people are going to be very upset if Ronnie somehow, some way survives season three. If he makes it into season four, y'all already know it's going to be a lot of people talking. But as I tell you guys, all that talk, all that drama makes for high ratings. People will tune in just to see exactly what's going to go down. So you guys, y'all leave y'all theories, predictions. Leave it all down below. Let me know what y'all think is going to happen for his character. Do y'all believe he's going to make it? Do y'all believe he's going to be taken out? And how y'all think the interaction between him and Kanan is going to go? Now, we'll continue to drop more Raising Kanan videos for you guys. We're probably going to just, you know, go over predictions for some of these characters and prepare for the second half of season three. But happy holidays. Happy New Year. I hope you guys stay safe out there. I want to thank you guys for supporting your boy once again for another year of great content, great TV with or without the strike. You know what I'm saying? We still got through it. And I can't wait to give y'all more content in the future. But let me get up on out of here, man. It's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.